linear dimensions. Now let's finally take a look at linear dimensions. In the last video, we went ahead and set up a dimension layer. As you can see here, I'm currently on the dims layer, which is where we're going to place all of our dimensions. If you haven't done so yet, go ahead and create a layer for your dimensions before we get started, and make sure to assign a color that's different from the one that's shown here, which is green. Okay, so where do we find the, dim the linear dimensions? Well, we can find that here under the annotation panel, under the home tab. This icon here is the symbol for linear. You can also find it in annotate and the dimensions panel, and then pick your dimension that you desire to place. Right now, we're going to start with linear. I'll go ahead and select that. And AutoCAD now is asking us to specify the first extension line, origin, or select object. Now, the extension line is the part of your dimension that actually comes out from your object that you're trying to measure. But before we start placing lines down onto our design, let's make sure we have all of our snaps on that we want. As you can see, as I'm floating around, AutoCAD is already trying to predict places where I may want to put my line down. This is trying to help me and guide me because of my drawing aids. So sometimes this can get confusing or you can accidentally snap to the wrong place because of the aids that you have turned on at the time. So some that may confuse you are the snap modes or any of these ortho or polar modes and tracking and so forth. You can always just right click on these and make sure you have the ones that you want set. At any time as well, if you want to make sure to snap to this end line to here, this end point here, or any other point, you can always shift right click and choose the option that you want for your snap to be. Right now I'm going to pick an end point. I'll go ahead and start in this top left corner and choose this point here. And now AutoCAD is asking me to specify my second point. I'll go ahead and shift right click one more time just to make sure that I'm choosing an end point. I'll go ahead and snap to this end point here. And there you go, there's a dimension. You can go ahead and pull it down or pull it up. I'll go ahead and place mine right here. Pan over to the side a bit. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. I'll go ahead and reactivate this by clicking the icon. And now this part right here has a line, a curve, and then another line coming down. I want to do this line here. So I want to grab it right at the end point where the straight line starts. So again, I'm just going to make sure that I grab that end point. I'll shift right click, choose end point, click there, shift right click again, choose another end point, and grab my other end point. And now I'll go ahead and pull it out to the right. As you can see, the linear command will give you dimensions that are either horizontal or vertical. I'll go ahead and do this point over here now on the left. I'll select there, and select there, and pull out towards the left. Now let's do this point here with a linear dimension. Instead of going and selecting this icon again, I'll go ahead and press the space bar to reactivate the last command that I issued, which was the linear dimension tool. I'll go ahead and select that point and select this one. And then I'll go ahead and drag down. And you can also notice if I drag down, I get a linear dimension. But if I also pull to the side, I get another linear dimension. So you have options here whenever you're doing a diagonal line to be either vertical or horizontal. I'll go ahead and place mine on the right side and I'll pull it out just a little bit further than the previous line and place it there. Let's go ahead and just dimension a few more straight lines. I'll dimension these points up here and just to make sure that I'm getting the right spot I will go ahead and zoom in and choose the end point. I'll place it up here and as you can see, if there's not enough space, AutoCAD will go ahead and place your dimension on the right side. We can also set this up in the dimension styles, which we'll cover later, how you want this to be placed if such an issue ever arises. I'll go ahead and press the spacebar to reissue the linear command. And this time, I'll use the linear command to actually dimension this circle here, which you would use a radius or another tool here, such as a diameter or an arc length, if you want to do some sort of round curve. But right now we're just practicing using linear dimensions, so I'll go ahead and dimension this with the linear tool. I will shift right click, and from among these, I want to go ahead and pick one of the quadrant options. I will select here, and select here. Notice the second time I didn't shift right click to select the quadrant. I can go ahead and pull this out, as you can see, if I pull down, there's no other dimension to measure the other way. 
I can put them inside or the outside, but typically you'll place all your dimensions outside. So I'll place mine here. And there you go. Let's try one last one. Here, here, and we'll pull it out. Now, if you don't always want to be clicking two points and you're sure of the object that you want to dimension, there's also one more option that you can use. I can go ahead and reactivate the command. And AutoCAD is asking me to specify the first extension line, origin, or select object. Anything in these brackets is the default. So if you want to keep the default, I can go ahead and press enter. Once I do so, AutoCAD is now asking me to select the object to dimension. Now let's go ahead and try and do that. We have a few objects down here in the bottom. Let's try this line right here. Once I select it, I'm already done. I can press the spacebar to reactivate the command. Press the spacebar again to accept the default, select my line, pull it out, and I'm done once again. Let's try that one more time. Spacebar, spacebar, select, and click one more time. I don't think we have any more straight lines that we can dimension, but let's look for a few more that may be kind of not so obvious. Spacebar, spacebar, select the line here, pull out, and we're done. Again, I'll go ahead and spacebar, spacebar, to dimension one last line here. As you can see, we can dimension lots of parts of our design with just a linear dimension tool, but things can start to get cluttered. This is when we start using our dimension style manager, which we can find here, but we'll cover that a little bit later.